have you ever thought of other reasons other than taking a lot of responsibility onto yourselves and thinking that this is your mindset fault or your feeling of feeling laziness and blaming yourself too much to procrastinate things there are so many other reasons which actually make you feel less effective and slow down your pace eventually making you fall off track here are five tips that can actually help you to focus better and make you feel more effective and make you feel more productive as well because productivity is more about feeling rather than you know the amount of work that you do in a single day which is what i personally feel what do you feel about productivity what is your definition of productivity leave it in the comment box below I would definitely love to go through them. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel to study studio and I took a long break for me two weeks it feels like a really long break anyways. Here we go, let's get started. So the first tip that I'm going to talk about is timetable. Well, we have different different kinds of timetable. For me, making a timetable and following a timetable is also an art. Not only making timetable and planning, but also following it is literally an art. Very few people master this art. well now why am i emphasizing this making timetable point it's because we actually make one certain kind of timetable and we feel like we fix our minds to follow it actually so instead of just uh, fixing to one certain timetable and thinking that that's the best timetable and concluding it after you make that timetable that that is bet better for you or the best timetable for you it's better that you just first explore the timetable and see how effective it is for you yes do this you know sometimes things like um if you are misplacing few things in your timetable that make you little bit more tired or make make your day look little bit more longer than usual but uh, placing the right things at the right place in the right time can actually help you to feel more effective than making you feel you're doing a lot of things in a single day yes you can just cut down this feeling of that you have a really long hectic day by just placing the right work in the right time see um timetable is not something that you will fix to only one certain thing and say that one certain planning and say that this is the best planning for me explore them first try to implement the timetable and see which part of the timetable you don't feel effective of and then try to recreate it okay see first of all i used to work on my youtube during night times but i shifted it to in the i shifted it in the morning i used to work for half an hour in the morning that didn't work actually i work for 20 minutes in the morning actually but even that didn't work and i slowly started trying every timing in the day and now i feel working in the afternoon for evening i mean 4:30 to 5:30 was the best time for me to work on my youtube so yeah uh, that's how we keep uh, experimenting in timetables and yeah don't try to fix for one timetable and say my timetable is not working i am someone who don't work on my timetables planning doesn't work for me don't try to blame yourself without experimenting and seeing what is actually effective to you right we are human beings and we have to give try for different timings and different things at the different places even if your home doesn't work for you go for a cafe that can be really good by the way i actually do this every saturday i stop upskilling myself at home i go to a cafe or i actually go to a restaurant or any place which i feel very peaceful and go and upskill there at work like a jump for me because this is given by jk rowling's author of harry potter i mean she said this that she couldn't finish a book at home sitting at home and could able to uh, complete the book in a very creative way after she booked the hotel and started writing in a hotel so yeah this kind of tips really work i can keep going on and on with this topic of art of making timetable if you want me to make a separate video on it then please let me know in the comment box the second tip is actually one of my friend was asking me like please uh, mention this point in your video i really want uh, advice on this so how do you have to shuffle from digital to paper the shuffling while you are reading actually makes it a little bit difficult so i don't know how many of you have this problem but let me tell you one thing the time that you feel very comfortable to study is the time where you do a paperwork the time you're not comfortable to study but you have to force yourself because your exams are really close that's the time that you depend on digital because digital is something that actually um you know suppresses your sleep and suppresses your few mood swings which you which makes the screen makes you active but make sure that you cut down all your distractions on your phone and or else put your phone on airplane mode and then start reading in a pdf so that it that will reduce your distractions 
this is one small tip that i want to mention if you are a morning person then uh, it's better if you go with paper in the morning if you're a night owl then better go with paper in the night times and if uh, the time that is not yours i have afternoon sickness that's not my time at all so i usually use digital in the afternoon times so yeah the time that is not yours try to hunch onto digital at that moment the third tip i want to give here is how you have to actually read continuously See, we are not in a war where we have to battle for six to seven hours without any break. I want to throw some light and stress on this point that we humans, we are creative beings. We can't do things like a robot fixed to one point, one timing every single day in every, uh, in the same routine for a longer period of time. It will never happen for anyone. They will definitely fall off track if they don't explore. So here I want to tell you one thing. If you are someone who want to read continuously in a day, then I will suggest you if you are um, reading at a certain place in your home, in the mornings, shift the place in the evenings, shift the place in the afternoons, in the night, you know, do that, keep, keep doing that and have certain good relaxing breaks and also try to go a little bit creative. This is the best tip. Don't try to read one subject continuously. Try to shuffle the subjects. If you're reading half an hour uh, maths, then half an hour go with science, then half an hour go with physics. Try to actually interlink the subjects also, how you will be interlinking each and every topic that you're reading. This is a gem uh, tip that I can say because Howard University has proven, this is a fact that uh, it's proven people who shuffle and start reading the subjects are the one who score better in the exams. If you don't believe it, try it and see. I have already tried and that's the reason why I'm, I'm able to say it with this confidence. Fourth one here I want to talk about is have to avoid distractions. One of the biggest topic I can say seriously because our mind is just like a monkey and everyone's uh, mindsets are very different from each other. We all are unique, right? So everyone have their own kind of distractions also, not only taste and standards. <laughs> so here we have to work on our own distractions. What exactly is distracting me? People these days talk a lot about phone, but phone has never been my distraction. To be honest, phone has never been my distraction. And I am always like, if even if my phone is beside me, I can really read for a longer period of time without any problem with my phone. I I keep checking Instagram in between and I just uh, again come back to my books and I can continue my focus levels. So yeah, everyone have different different distractions, you know, music is my distraction and few people can actually focus really better by playing background music, which I can't do at all. So yeah, you have to first analyze what kind of distractions you have. I want you guys to do this. List out all your kind of distractions, all kinds and forms of distractions, what distracts you a lot. And then you are good to go with what blockages you have to set up for certain kind of distractions. Nobody need to tell you that you know it. And here I am here to actually give you two particular tips. If you're an ethicist, try to explore nature if you're not feeling focused if you're not feeling productive close your book get into the nature explore sometimes you know what happens even a flowing river can actually motivate us so just uh, connect with the nature come back and sit and start reading and look at your focus levels so the second one is if you're someone who is theist nothing can be so powerful place like temples guys it will gather your strength within you and it will help you to focus far better than that you ever experienced before if you're feeling unproductive and can't focus well hit the temple and come back and start reading and see the power of focus how well you can develop your focus fifth one that i want to uh, talk about is motivation is myth or true actually we can make a discussion about this but what i believe here i am to actually talk about it motivation is something that um lies within us helps us to get on to track and push us to do better things in a better way so i don't think motivation is myth for me it's something that we have to take you decide all by yourself after what i say in this video so uh, i feel motivation lies in different different forms for every person each and every single day we need different kind of motivation we are not someone who will stick to a certain kind of motivation every single day for a lifetime our life 
is seasonal. We have ups and downs and cycles in our life. So based on that phases and seasons that we are going through in our life, we need motivation accordingly. So if a particular video motivates you today, then a particular thing or a person talking to a person will motivate you tomorrow. A no nature or a flowing river can motivate you one day. Um, just a certain clipping of a movie can motivate you the other day. So we can't say what kind of motivation we need every single day. What I actually do is I try this for 15 days. If possible, I'll insert few clippings. With my motivations are I have a lot of greenery around my home. So if I'm not feeling good, I'm an extrovert. So if I go out and explore, that motivates me a lot. So I keep exploring the nature around my house. And I also go through some motivational videos. I, I will be inserting some clippings over here when I'm watching those videos. So I try this for 15 days and I'm here to tell you with all my gut that Taking motivational pill every single day can change your life. Literally can change your life. It's because we are humans and we face that cognitive ability and we will lose our willpower at the end of the day. At the end of the day, nobody feels the same activeness, the, the moment, I mean, the thing that they feel, the activeness that they feel during the daytime. So... If you start taking this motivational pill before you go to sleep or right after you wake up can buck you up and make you feel like this is an other day, it's an opportunity. So I'm going to give my best and 101% to do whatever I can do today to prove myself that I can do it. So I will be leaving this to you guys. Take the motivational pill every single day and decide yourselves whether motivation is myth or true. I hope I hope you all love the tips that I've mentioned in this video and each and every tip is not interlinked. Every tip is different here. So any tips, if you want a long form video, a particular separate topic, a video on a particular tip, then just let me know in the comment box below, especially on the timetables. So I'm interested to do that. Uh, if you are interested, then just let me know. I'm here to do that. So yeah, that's all for today, guys. I hope you like it. If you like it, just li hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon and share it. Sharing the banta hai <laughs> No, if you feel this video is worthful and you learn something new, then please share it. So stay energetic and stay focused all the time. Bye-bye.